All right, guys, uh, back for the third test of the Eagle Eyes Pan and Tilt. Uh, this is a follow-up from uh, video two, wherein the Pan and Tilt was only panning from zero degrees north to 180 degrees south. Okay, and I got a, a, some really good feedback from Bees. Uh, I guess he's over in Colorado, and. Um, Went into the software and uh, looked at a couple of my uh, pan and tilt uh, measurements, rechecked the pan. So what I'm going to do is show you, I'm going here and uh, you go into the hardware and then you go choose uh, OSD. And then what you do is you go down here to the bottom. Eagle Eyes Tracking, Configure Eagle Eyes Tracking, and then what it does is it'll set the pan device to 50% uh, on the tilt and take you back to zero, 50% of your pan and 50% of your tilt. So what I did was I went in here and I went through each of these angles and I wrote them down. So I went through and wrote them all down on a piece of paper and double checked. And as I went through each one, I noticed that my, I had the 180 degrees south in there, okay? And then I also had the maximum clockwise correct okay they both had the same angle okay then when I went in to maximum counter rotation counterclockwise okay that was good but then when I went into the 180 degrees counterclockwise south okay I went into that one and it turned around and went to 50 degrees north. So in a sense, I had failed to change that one setting, the 180 degrees counterclockwise south from zero degrees north because I was only going to do a 50% pan from 270 west to 90 degrees uh, east prior uh, to um, figuring out that my tilt is only going to go to 90 degrees because I cannot do 180 degrees tilt on this pan and tilt system. So when I went in and redid the um, figures again, uh, I changed all, everything around except for that one. So my notion is that the during the simulator when it was in uh, doing the simulation of flight and when I got to the maximum clockwise or your 180 degrees south right clockwise right what I ended up doing is when it went past 180 degrees south it was confused on where to go. So it just locked up and stayed at 180 degrees south until the plane came around to zero degrees north. It was confused on where it should go. So that was my fault. I missed that one. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate. Uh, I just thought maybe uh, you guys want to see how it's working and how everything is looking good. Um, Right now, uh, I got uh, lowest position. It'll be is in dead on 90 degrees to the ground, and that will be where you have to put in zero over here, and then you can go down. The highest position is 90, so it's at 90. Okay, 
So I've got all that and I've already saved it and it's programmed in. You just go in here and hit OK. And then you can either do save configuration. Okay, and I've got it saved under another one, um, but I don't need to. Well, it's, I'm going to have to go in and resave it again. So what I have here is I've it listed as RV Jet 180 degrees pan and tilt number two, and uh, so I hit save, yes, and go over here and hit OK, and it'll update the OSD. I've changed some. Uh, of my OSD on screen display move things around okay so there we go alright I'm gonna put it put the camera up and get it into uh, flight mode and let you see check it out Yeah, it should start flying. I didn't uh, get the switch back to the center, so my on-screen display is showing. Um, okay. All right, so the plane is flying, and as you'll see, I'll turn the plane around, and I'll just get it heading home, and I'm just going to flip on the return to home switch so I can hold the camera so I flipped on the turn to home and as you can see now it's panning and tilting and you see the degrees on the screen right now is at 51 and it's going up now it's going around now it's spun back around to the west because the plane's at 250 degrees so essentially what it was doing was swinging around before to 180 and then going past 180 and because I was had the wrong setting put in for the uh, 180 degrees counterclockwise south it was confusing the eagle eyes computer and it just kind of sat there idling waiting to figure out where the plane was and what it should do so lesson learned is uh, double check maybe write things down instead of just paging through I noticed once I wrote things down the uh, degrees the percentage of servos there that's when I noticed that the uh, one servo was out